Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and in today's video, we are going to be unboxing the new Honor 8 from Huawei and taking a quick look. The packaging feels refreshingly quirky. I appreciate Huawei doing something new here. Setting aside the Honor 8 for a moment, we've got the regular leaflets, a SIM ejector tool, Huawei's quick charge adapter, and a USB Type C cable. Now let's get back to the Honor 8 and peel the plastic off. This phone feels quite light in hand. The overall looks do seem a little derivative, but the 7.5mm thickness and 153g weight feels nice. We've got a glass pack here, Gorilla Glass 3 to be precise, and here's where you find the Honor logo, a fingerprint scanner, the dual 12 megapixel rear cameras, a laser assist for autofocus, and a dual tone dual LED flash. To the front, on top, we have an 8 megapixel front facing camera, sensors, and a earpiece that has the notification LED built into it. This is followed by a 5.2 inch Full HD IPS LCD display, and the Honor branding can be found at the bottom. The pixel density is 424 pixels per inch, and this display looks quite good. We have an IR blaster and the secondary noise cancelling microphone up top. The volume rockers and the power key can be found to the right. The primary microphone, a USB Type-C port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack are sat at the bottom, and there's nothing but a slot to the left. Here's where you can pop in either two SIM cards or a SIM and a microSD card. Underneath the hood, the Honor 8 sports Huawei's own high silicone Kirin 950 chip. Now that's a combination of four Cortex-A72 and four Cortex-A53 cores. If that sounds familiar to you, that's because that's the same combination found on Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 chip. The difference here is that the Kirin 950 is built on the 16 nanometer manufacturing process instead of 28 as with the Snapdragon 652. This theoretically means better power efficiency and lower heat generation. That's probably the reason why Huawei has been able to achieve much higher clock speeds, 2.3 and 1.8 GHz respectively, and they also claim that this Kirin 950 chip outperforms not only the Snapdragon 652, but even last year's flagship 810. I will test this claim out and get back to you in my review. Anyway, the Mali T880 MP4 handles GPU duties, and this phone's available in a host of RAM storage configurations including 332, 464, and 432, that's the one used in this video. All this is powered by a 3000mAh non-user replaceable battery, and it's also worth mentioning that the Honor 8 has support for both NFC and USB OTG. Now this phone runs on Android 6 Marshmallow with Huawei's Emotion UI 4.1 on top. Given that I've imported this from China, there's no Google Play services. I quickly sideloaded it and set my apps up. Out of the box, I noticed ROG power saving enabled. This is a nifty little feature that reduces the resolution to 720p. So maybe if you run into something that's too powerful for this chip, you can reduce the resolution. I really hope more manufacturers include this feature, after all, we've been using it on computers for ages now. Anyway, Emotion UI feels fluid at 1080p. It's got quite a few customization options, themes, the status bar, a one-handed mode, some gimmicky shortcut functionality. The fingerprint scanner to the back works great. It's also a pressable button. Pressing and holding it launches the flashlight. You can also swipe from top to bottom to pull down the notification bar or swipe from side to side to move through the images in the gallery. As you see here, with some images, we can adjust focus and aperture information after the shot. And that is thanks in large to the dual camera setup we have to the back. 12 megapixel sensors, an aperture of f2.2 and a laser assist for autofocus. The camera UI seems fluid. There are tons of options, well labeled, and most of them quite self-explanatory. The camera's manual video doesn't let you change anything once you start recording, but you can however shoot 1080p 60fps video. The Honor 8 is one of the very few phones to provide this option via the default camera app. Anyway, here are a few quick camera samples I shot around the office. I've popped my SIM cards into the Honor 8 and I'm going to be using it as my primary smartphone for a bit before coming out of the full review. As far as the pricing goes, the Honor 8 starts at 1999 yuan, and that's about 300 US dollars or 20,000 rupees for the 332 variant, and goes all the way up to 375 dollars or 25,000 rupees for the 4 gig RAM, 64 gig storage variant. Hopefully, Huawei can bring this to India soon. So that's it for this quick unboxing and hands-on with Huawei's latest Honor 8. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, vote it down if you didn't, and for more videos like this, including the full review. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.